Hello, hello, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about Leanne's solo career. Obviously, you guys know her from Little Mix, but recently she has dropped her first two debut solo singles, and I'm obsessed, I'm shaking, I'm shimmying, I'm jamming, all of the good stuff. So I want to talk about her solo career and some of the other things she's done outside of her, you know, the two singles that we're familiar with. So let's go ahead and get into Leanne. Leanne rose to prominence as a member of Little Mix, a girl group formed on the X Factor UK in 2011. Little Mix actually won the show, becoming the first group to do so. Together, Little Mix achieved five number ones and 19 top tens on the UK singles chart. Having sold over 60 million albums worldwide, Little Mix is one of Britain's best-selling music acts and one of the best-selling girl groups of all time. They also have the distinction of being the first all-female group to win the Best British Group Award at the Brit Awards. In 2021, Leanne released her documentary called Leanne, Race, Pop, and Power. She discussed the racism she experienced as a pop star and as the only black member of Little Mix. On several occasions, Leanne recalled feeling excluded due to her race, whether that meant not having stylists or team members who were black, or being ignored by fans when other Little Mix members weren't. And for so long, I thought, it, well, people would say to me, it's in your head. And I started to think, okay, maybe it is. So maybe I'll do whatever I can to improve my vocals. Um, I'll make sure I speak more in interviews. Do whatever I have to do to better myself yeah. because whatever's going on now, it's not good enough. Right. So I need to, I need to be better. And then it still wasn't enough. Why do I feel like invisible? Why do I feel like the least favored, the least desired? Like, I just want to know, like, mm -hmm. is that racist or yeah. like, is it in my head? When attempting to meet with the head of her label, Sony, to see what they intended to do to diversify the label, she was first connected with the head of marketing who happened to be another black woman. Leanne took this as Sony leaving it up to the two black women to try to solve the lack of diversity in the label when it wasn't a problem that they caused or could control. Additionally, in Race, Pop, and Power, Leanne addresses colorism and how despite being lighter skinned, she did still experience racism, albeit it might be different from what a darker skinned person would experience. Looking back, it's clear my color was being used to define my image within the group, which made me feel different to the other girls. Both of Leanne's parents are biracial, having a white mother and a black father. Her mother's father is from Barbados and her father's father is from Jamaica. Leanne said it was important to use her platform to speak up about racial issues, and she said she'd rather say something not exactly right than say nothing at all. She also made it clear she didn't want to be looked at as the spokesperson for every black person's experience with racism or have her feelings be taken as a declaration of how every black artist in the industry feels. In their review, The Guardian called race pop and power sensitive and determined. The Independent gave the documentary four stars and called it a gripping exploration of race and racism within the British music industry. For her work on her documentary, Leanne won the Media Progress Moment at the Ethnicity Awards, Best Documentary at the I Talk Telly Awards, and Documentary of the Year at the Visionary Honors Awards. Later in 2021, Leanne performed solo for the first time in the holiday movie Boxing Day, where she played a famous singer. It had been 10 years since she performed by herself and the first time as the professional pop star we know her to be now, so she found the experience a little frightening. For Boxing Day, Leanne worked with Emmy Nikkei to create Woman, an original song. Leanne had previously worked with Emmy Nikkei while in Little Mix as well. Soon after, in December of that year, Little Mix's remaining members, Perry, Jade, and Leanne, announced their hiatus after 10 years together. The hiatus would begin after the group finished their confetti tour the following spring. Both Perry and Leanne had recently had their first children, with Leanne herself having twins. The girls also wanted to take time to focus on solo projects, but they did say that Little Mix wasn't breaking up. In early 2022, Leanne signed a solo deal with Warner Records UK, who also represents artists like Dua Lipa and Ed Sheeran. Apparently, a couple labels had been trying to court her, but Leanne felt that Warner was the best fit. Almost immediately after, she started teasing that she was working on new music. She uploaded song covers to YouTube, including Aretha Franklin's Say a Little Prayer, which she first covered in Boxing Day and SWV's Week. Leanne also sent out a newsletter to her eager fans, telling them she'd been working with some amazing songwriters and producers, and she couldn't wait to release her solo music. In the midst of working on her album, Leanne announced she teamed up with Audible to lend her voice to Dina Gregory's adaptation of The Little Mermaid. It's a darker version of the story, closer to the original Hans Christian Andersen tale than the more sanitized Disney adaptations. To make it more realistic, the story incorporated some details from Leanne's own life. Dina said about Leanne's casting, My mind is going to who narrates this, which is Leanne Pinnock. Her dream was to sing, to be a pop star. 
So she had to sacrifice the safety of her home and the comfort in what she knew in the ordinary world and go to this level of pop stardom, superstardom. And then she discovered the truth about the pop world in all its different colors. And I think that's what's neat about this in her narrating is that I was able to emphasize those parallels, which are really there, you know? She then used her experiences and I think she found that the pop world is not always hospitable to women of color, or at least the industry and the fan base can at times be inhospitable, and she used that experience. She grew stronger from it. Musical arrangements were also made for the adaptation. Leanne personally invited singers Anais, Kersha Bailey, Syra Rowe, and Nadine Samuels to provide vocals for The Little Mermaid. This June, Leanne teased her first solo single, Don't Say Love, on her Instagram. Weeks later, the single followed, making her the first of the three Little Mix members to release solo music. The cover art is reminiscent of the cover of Mariah Carey's 2005 album, The Emancipation of Mimi. Leanne's bold stance, the spotlight shining on her, and the empty black background show that this single and the era that will follow are solely about Leanne for the first time in her career. Also linking it back to the Mariah homage, it's clear that Leanne sees finally going solo as an emancipation of sorts. I think like being in a pop girl group um, and like obviously that the music that we did, um, yeah, I don't think I was really able to sort of, yeah, I guess express who I am, but um, now I guess the ball's in my court and I can do what I want. So it feels really liberating to do that. Even if you do enjoy being in a music group, it's still probably frustrating to not have the focus on you and having to cede everything from creative ideas to lines in a song to being in the center to other group members because it's not all about you. Then especially in Leanne's case, she felt parts of her heritage and identity were suppressed to conform within the group, which wasn't really her choice. And then in a more general sense, a lot of artists love to pay homage to the giants in their genre or artists who otherwise inspired them. Don't Say Love is produced by John Bellion and Peter Nappy, who are known for working on hits like Midnight Sky and Flowers, respectively. The song is Garage, which y'all clock me, my British watchers across the pond, y'all clock me in my Pink Panthers video, so I wanted to get it right this time. And it's also dance inspired. This is one of the songs that made me realize the garage, 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 my bad, and drum and bass trends are really taking off. Of course, we have artists like Pink Panthers who make music with that sound and likely and she is British. But even within the last year or so, we've seen that sound spread frequently by non-British artists like New Jeans, Triple S, Troy Sivan, Tinashe, and Jungkook and Lotto. And even outside of 2023 releases, some artists have been incorporating that sound into their music for a while now. For example, Tinashe is an example of a non-British artist who didn't just start doing this this year. Leanne told British Vogue about Don't Say Love. The first single, Don't Say Love, is about wanting to be loved wholeheartedly, like the love that I have for myself. If it's not that, then I don't want it. That's a journey getting there. Within the group and in my career, I really felt like a lot of the time I was overlooked and undervalued. I really wanted to get that emotion across in the video. Frustration, sadness, and anger. I wanted to get that across my first single so I could just leave that girl and that feeling in the past. The song is catchy and upbeat and Lee Ann's vocals are on full display and Don't Say Love feels like a callback but simultaneously it feels fresh. Lan is alone in the different sets for the majority of the video, again emphasizing this is her solo effort. There is a dance sequence in the video, and even then the dancers still feel sort of detached from the world that Leanne is in. I think it's because they're not really in focus or looking into the camera in many of the shots. Also, the choreography has that sort of ripple effect, and I'm sorry I don't know the exact word for it, when there's a little delay between the moves each dancer does, though they're doing the same moves. And even when they're all in unison or all in focus, it's very clear that Leanne is leading and she is in control. Don't Say Love peaked at number 11 on the UK singles chart, and Leanne has said all the positive reception for the single has made her even more excited for her debut album. While she hasn't announced the name yet, Leanne has revealed some other tidbits. She told Pop Buzz, I think for the album, I just wanted to have a mix of all the sounds I loved growing up. So that's an accumulation of R&B, reggae, Afrobeats, garage... For me, it's mixing all those genres and putting my stamp on it. Leanne has said that actually several songs on the album are reggae, which makes sense because she's part Jamaican and considers the country to be her second home. She also revealed that she worked with producers Dark Child and Danger, who have produced some of the most innovative pop, hip-hop, and R&B projects over the last few decades. Leanne's also working with Hit Boy, who's produced for artists including Rihanna, Nicki Minaj, Beyonce, Nas, and Travis Scott. In August, Leanne collaborated with Jean Baptiste, featuring on his song, Running Away. It's a beautiful song about supporting someone through hard times and braving the world with a loved one. 
The song only came out about a month ago, so it seems they've only performed the song together once so far. Leanne's second single, My Love, was released just last week. The single is an Afrobeats collaboration with Nigerian artist Ira Starr. Leanne and Ira sing about the power of a woman's love and also the power of self-love, both of which are a force on their own. Leanne said about my love. When we wrote this song, I just knew it was something special. It perfectly captures the essence of who I want to be as a solo artist. That feel-good, powerful, and anthemic song. It's all about celebrating self-love and embracing its incredible power. Ira was always the only choice for the feature because Leanne felt she embodied the song's theme perfectly. The music video by Nigerian director Meiji Alami was filmed in Lagos. It was meant to showcase the beauty of Lagos and its people, which is why minimal set dressing was done and local dancers and extras were used for the video. The video is choreography heavy, which aside from the stunning and colorful visuals, is another high point that's really captured people's attention. The cover art for My Love is definitely linked to the Don't Say Love one. Visually, you can tell they're meant to be connected in some way with the black backgrounds and the similar clothing. Also, the titles Don't Say Love and My Love, clearly there's a link there both being related to love. Leanne has said there's a connection between the singles, though I'm not sure yet if the singles will have a connection that transcends the rest of her debut album. At the end of the Don't Say Love video, Leanne is submerged and text across the screen says to be continued. Immediately at the beginning of the My Love video, Leanne emerges from the water, symbolizing her rebirth as an artist. This could be a reach, but these are my personal interpretations. But in terms of thinking about how Leanne is wanting to showcase her Caribbean heritage more than she got to in Little Mix, and the video being shot in Nigeria, it also makes me think of the importance of water in the transatlantic slave trade. In that context, water symbolizes not only rebirth, but also an escape and a reclamation of autonomy, even if it's through death. Several enslaved people transported from Africa, though they were the minority, chose to jump overboard and drown, dying on their own terms, rather than living a lifetime in bondage. Unfortunately, however, it was more common for captains of slave ships to throw enslaved people overboard, especially if they were sick or otherwise so-called depreciated in value, because the insurance payout from losing them would likely be higher than what they could be sold for. That being said, the water could represent Leanne dictating the terms of her own life or rising above attempts to suppress or ruin her, or both. Then also taking the My Love video being shot in Nigeria into account and the song's theme, the water could also be a reference to Oshun, who is a Yoruba river deity. The Yoruba people primarily live within the southwest region of what's now Nigeria, and also spans across the countries of present-day Benin and Togo. Oshun represents fertility, love, purity, and sensuality, and is often represented by water as well as the color yellow. And I just want to reiterate that I don't know for a fact that these things were going through Leanne's head or anyone else who worked on the video, but those are the connections that I saw, and I don't think it's impossible that they or others did too. I also don't think it's a coincidence that Leanne and her dancers do the Black Power symbol during a moment of silence in the My Love video, so there are references to race within it. Looking to her upcoming debut, Leanne has expressed interest in collaborating with other female artists as well. She said that she's open to working with her Little Mix sisters, Jade and Perry, when they release their solo music. Leanne also said that she's eager to work with SZA, who's an artist who really inspires her. So hopefully that's a collab that we can look forward to. In the last few weeks, Leanne has started doing live performances of My Love and Don't Say Love. Fans have been supportive, saying it's exciting to watch her grow into becoming a solo performer because it is still a new journey, even though Leanne's been in the music industry for a while now. Earlier this week, it was announced Leanne will be performing at the Kiss Haunted House Party, which apparently is the UK's biggest Halloween party. Flo, Becky Hill, and Zara Larson will also be performing at this year's event. So hopefully the fact that Leanne has been out and about releasing and promoting means we'll get an album announcement soon, even if it's just the title and cover. Personally, I'm very eager to see what Leanne has to offer, especially more so because she came out of the gate with a clear sound and point of view for her music. Yeah, of course, as always, let me know your thoughts and your feelings. I wasn't a huge Little Mix fan. Like, I mean, there was no, there's no real story there. I just didn't listen to their music that much. And what I did here, I liked. But it was very interesting to learn more about Leanne and her experience in the group and how that is sort of coloring her artistic vision as she moves forward. And also just the fact that she's getting to express sides of herself, whether it's her identity or her artistry that she felt like she couldn't do in Little Mix. And I know I just said it in my Fifth Harmony video, but it's still true. But I love to see when, you know, the girl groups break up for whatever reason, and then the members of the group get to go solo, what their musical tastes actually are, what their artistic identity actually is, because more often than not, it's so different from what we saw of them in the group. And in a weird way, it's like, it kind of feels like 
the time and the group got wasted because they weren't working towards their vision. But then when you think about people like Leanne, it's like those 10 years in the industry or, you know, being part of a huge group, for what it's worth, it does give you experience for one, who to stay away from, who to work with, but it also does give you good connections to leverage because now Leanne is working with Dark Child, she's working with Danger. And I'm not saying it's just because, you know, she was in Little Mix, but I am saying it's gonna be a lot easier to get some of the best producers in the game on your debut solo album if it's your debut solo album and people already know who you are and you already have pull in the industry, whether it's your debut solo album and no one knows who you are. And then on top of that, you already have fans who are rooting for you because you have fans, you know, from your time in the group. And then you also get to bring on new fans like me, who I'm like, I knew of Leanne, but like, I'm like, I got to find out about Leanne after hearing those first few singles. So I'm excited for her career if it's not obvious. I've been bumping the two singles and I can't wait to bump more. So, you know, just let me know how you're feeling about Leanne and her solo career so far. As always, thank you so very much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can stick around for more. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. That way you can keep up with me there. And if you want to become a channel member, you can click the link in the video's description. Again, thank you so very much for watching. I love you all so very much, and we'll see you so very soon. Bye-bye.